Hey guys, welcome back to the Albania Fix. So today it's not gonna be actually a how to repair your car video. It's actually gonna be about the approved emissions modification. Basically how to get your car repaired for free. And if your car falls into any of these categories here with the models and the model years, obviously if you, your car has blue tech, basically it's a diesel, then you will probably get your car fixed for free um, with all kinds of engine components that are easily over the thousands and thousands of dollars for free. There is a class action settlement going on right now. If you received in your mail, something like this then inside the mail you'll find this let you know that your car falls into any of these categories my car did it's the car that you see all over the video where i do oil changes fuel filter air filter that car just finished at the dealership and this is my invoice here at the dealership and this is all the parts that they replace on my car catholic converter the dpf exhaust gas lines all of this if you want to, you can stop this video, take a picture. There's another page here on the side for a couple more stuff. Um, these two, yeah, these three here. And basically what I'm trying to say is that my car is a E350 Bluetech. My car was a 2011. So I was right in the scope of the settlement. Now, my car finished and i just wanted to make this video for people that don't know about this that they still have time i think the last call will be october 20 something if i'm not mistaken it should say it somewhere in the paperwork um but if you do receive a paper like this in an email then i would strongly advise to go ahead and do it my car just finished and it's it's almost like new now it's all kinds of new components in the engine bay um, now, if you do not receive anything in the mail, I want to show you guys how you can do it online still and still receive all the benefits. Online, I'm going to show you on the link below in the description. It's called mbbluetechsettlement.com and in there <clears throat> you can also receive all the important documents. So basically everything that I received in the mail you will find them here also in a digital format. Like this and legal form notice, supplemental claim form and individual releases. These are also some of the forms that you have to sign and register with to get the process started. Um, keep in mind that your car has to have the AEM or approved emissions modification installed before you can continue with the claim process. So all of the components in the car is gonna be installed for free. And also if you continue with the settlement, you might get up to 3,200, I believe. <clears throat> A little over uh, three grand cash, basically. And that's if you currently still own the car. If you do not own the car, you are still entitled to get up to two thousand dollars for a for a former mb blue tech car that you have owned so here are the documentations if you have not received the form and again it's you can find this at mbbluetechsettlement.com you can also call this number here to kind of check with the agent to see if your car actually is eligible to do this process so if my car was i want to show you the process how I'm doing it basically. Now after the emissions modification we're done, you come to this website, you to home. Oh, there it is right there, up to 3515. And I wanna file a claim today. And you just upload your VIN number. I'm gonna hide my VIN number for a second. You hit next. You register, if you not have registered yet, if this is your very first time doing this, then you will have to register your car that you own it or have owned a car before. And you'll have to go through the process of finding a Mercedes dealership that will do this claim and install all the components for free. 
once everything is done, everything is installed, then you come back to this website again and hit file claim. And basically gonna fill out this information, contact information. I'm gonna blur this out again here for a second. And here's my vehicle information as well. Everything's correct. I currently own this. As you can see also in my previous videos where I do all kinds of repairs on a car. Then you hit next. I did own the car before September 14, 2020. So I'm gonna hit yes. And my car was subject to being registered in my name when the AEM or approved emissions modification was installed. Basically when the dealership installed all the components, it was still my name. So yes. I'm gonna enter the date, which just finished the day. I'm gonna blur this too. And also you can get another $35 extra if uh, the dealership did not provide alternative transportation and if it took longer than three hours. So if this all applies to you, you can do that. Uh, this did apply to me. The dealer did not have alternative transportation to me, made to me. But to get the $35, you also have to include receipts to um, basically be able to get this. I'm not gonna go through all that. I'm good with not receiving that. So I'm gonna hit no for not receiving or not claiming transportation reimbursement. I'm gonna hit next again here. And right here is gonna um, ask you for all the required documentation. I'm gonna go ahead and upload them one by one. So it needs a driver's license. So I'll go ahead and download, upload that driver's license. And then I'm gonna add another file and they're asking for the repair or invoice order, which I just showed you early in the video. So I have that ready scanned and I'm gonna upload it here as well. The next thing they ask is proof that your uh, vehicle was registered in your name. So basically your state's car vehicle registration that you get from DMV every year. So I made a copy of that as well. And here it is. The other one they're asking is a individual release form. That's the release form that I showed you in the documentation, which is also this over here. And all it is is you read about the claim at the very last page, you, uh, I'm gonna blur this, at the very last page you sign and date and print your name. So I scanned all of this into the computer. So I'll go ahead and include that, which is this over here. And then one more thing they're asking is the proof that you owned or leased the vehicle. So for that, they're asking all kinds of uh, financial agreement, title, registration, bill of sale, and I have the title, so I'm gonna include a copy of the title. And there it is. I got all these five documentation that they're asking for. And uh, I'm gonna hit next and go ahead and file the claim. Okay, so I'm gonna blur this out again. It's my information confirming that everything should be in order. And it needs my signature. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna blur this out again. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit submit. And success. Now I got the claim number that you can always refer back to and you can also call the number here at the very bottom to check on your uh, claim process. It should take a little bit of time. Um, they're not you know, readily available to send you the check. So just give it some time and check your mailbox. But yeah, um, I just wanna give you a heads up basically if you didn't know about this, um, and how to go about doing it if you have one of these cars that you are um, legible for. Put it in here again. 
But yeah, other than that, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. And I'll catch you next time.